Today I've got the Milwaukee Jab Saw that I'm reviewing. Just purchased this tool, super excited about it. I had a saw like this. Although handy, it was extremely difficult to carry without ripping up the tool bag because of the exposed blade. And so I found myself leaving it behind most of the time. And then the other day I was in need of it and I didn't have it. So I got to looking, found this option. This is the Milwaukee Jab Saw with a folding blade. Super, super nice. It's has lock locked in there until you push the button. It's a little handle here or an indent here to grab the blade. Really good positive action locking in out here. And then releases the blade right here. It's just a normal sawzall or reciprocating saw blade. Takes a wood blade as well. Super, super nice. I'm excited about this saw because now I'm gonna be able to carry it right here in the tool bag without worrying about snagging anything. And it's really convenient to either change out the blade if I want, or I can carry a longer blade if I want. Obviously it wouldn't fold up inside. Or I can just carry extra blades, different style of cutting blades, just easily here in my bag. Talk about the finish on this thing. Really nice finish, really good quality. The saw blade goes in both forwards and upside down, just like it would in a normal reciprocating saw. Size-wise comparison of, an, I don't know if this is a jab saw, I've always just called them a drywall saw. You can see the handle on the Milwaukee's a little bit longer. Overall, the saws are about the same length. Let's get a real measurement here. We've got 11 and 3 8 inches on the Milwaukee with the six inch steel cutting blade on the Stanley 11 and an eighth inch. Weight difference, switch this over to the wood blade for a more apples to apples comparison. So now we're kind of set up about the same way. This is a little thicker blade, so it'll probably weigh a little more than the metal cutting blade. We've got 7.2 ounces. Stanley, we've got 5.7 ounces. You can fill a little bit. This one fills really good quality. I can't stress that enough. Really good build on this Milwaukee jab saw. Um, for comparison, it's just so we can kind of in the ballpark, we've got these channel lock six inch side cutters, 9.5 ounces. Let's look at just some regular pliers, 6.3. So this is like right in between the two weights of these. The benefits of having a folding blade and still not losing the durability and then just the versatility of having blade change. You don't have to carry a hacksaw and a dedicated jab saw and you don't have to worry about the blades messing up your bag pockets because they fold up and go into your bag just like that. This thing has one a spot in my service bag here. The weight of it and the room in this bag is precious to me because it gets heavy carrying it around everything. So every tool that I carry in here has to win a spot. And this one so far is keeping a spot. That's it for today, the Milwaukee Jab Saw. This was about 20 bucks, I bought it from Home Depot. If you have any questions or would like me to compare it to any other tool, or if you already have one, let me know down in the comments below. If you see any other tools in this bag you would like me to review, let me know. I'm gonna be, be doing a review of this tech pack. It's somewhat new to me. I used to be doing the Tech MC T, and I recently upgraded to this bag and I'm loving it. So I'll get you a video out on that soon, letting you know what I think of that as well. Until next time, I'll see ya.